How's everybody doing today? Welcome to a new episode of Bending with Bending. Today we're not bending. We're just gonna do some suspension work. So uh, if you like the channel, like, share, subscribe, you know what to do. Anyway, so we got ourselves our 2003 Peterbilt here and we're gonna do bush ends on the air leaf bushings, okay? Uh, all four of them are bad. Uh, we're gonna go over how easy it is to change them out, inspect them, whatnot. Here we go. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this bolt out, okay? Well, actually, the first thing we're gonna do is jack the truck up a little bit and secure it. So on the back, actually, you gotta secure it from the rear on the jack stand. Front axle, not so much. All right, so what we got here is we got our jack stand right there underneath the frame, holding it up. Gotta make sure you support this thing, man. We take our little floor jack, three ton floor jack, and we just adjust the axle as we need it. Take pressure off the front. Coming up on the jack. Little pressure on it, like so. See a lot of videos of guys, man, they doing some crazy stuff on one of these trucks, man, but you gotta support these things, man, I'm telling you. you gotta support the truck, it's heavy. All right, so we got our parts, okay? Um, I'm gonna change out the uh, bush end, and this is a three inch wide spring. So these are our parts. We use Dayton parts. I mean, they're inex not really expensive, but uh, good, pretty good quality parts. They'll last a while. The bush end number. This is for our U-bolt uh, right here. So this U-bolt, if you gotta change out this uh, bracket, which if it's been a while, if it's been on there, if that's the original one, chances are you're gonna have to replace this uh, uh, seat right there, carrier. So you're gonna have to take this U-bolt out. You're not probably, you're probably not gonna get it loose. So we just cut them off. Inch and a half. Inch and a half. Yeah. It's gonna be inch and eight. Over the inch and eight. It's gonna be three quarter. there all right so get air hammer knocks this out but it does have a little pressure on it a little high at the moment so we're gonna let it down because you can tell it's kind of high and we'll hit this with a hammer air hammer drive it out and go from there 
Alright, so once you make sure you got it uh, weight off of it. Cause we ain't trying to tear up no gun, get that BS off for 30 bucks, you know what I mean? Chances are you're not going to get this bolt out right here either. So there's no point in even trying if you're going to replace that uh, bushing mount. So you just cut them off. Alright, so burn that washer out. time they wore out so bad but this one's not this one's been done recently apparently they did one Push through to the other side. Push it out. As you can see here, I'm wearing up at the top. This is a bad one. It's a brand new one now. That new one goes flat side up like so. Look at it, it should go on like this. New Evo. Let's take some sandpaper. Clean this stuff right in. Get all some of that rust out of there. If you got a lot of rust in fitting like that, sand it down a little bit, make it smooth. Alright, so let's move some out. So we put this white lithium grease on here so that way this thing will give a little bit, won't bind up when we tighten it down. Alright, so as you can see there, you get it kind of close to being lined up. Put that in there. Slide around in. I had to do a little extra work to get it in there. What we do, we put two shims here, washer, lock shim, two new bolts, two inch bolts, an inch and eight head, three quarter by two inch bolts. Leave this loose back here, up here, so we can move it around, get all this stuff in here. Okay, so we got our, uh, this is pretty snug right here too. See how much wider it is when you start out? We're going to together. Make sure you put this back in there before you tighten this thing down because it will when it crushes this down these got to touch you're gonna bring this in until it touches on both sides too. Alright so once this is tight there should be no gap. 
and knock these down and leave this loose till you track it. And set it on the ground and track it. All right, one of the things we gotta look out for, so that way we make sure everything's right. Make sure we tighten this up. We can tighten these bolts up, okay? Tighten this up, work it down, and snug these bolts down. Now we're gonna set up our machine and then we're gonna adjust everything to track it. And track it. Gotta loosen these all. Loosen this bolt just loose enough to where it'll slide. And then put your shims in here. And have your shim you can knock them over the bolt there. Alright, she's all done. Alright, that's how you do it. Right, maybe we can get this truck out of here. Hi, thank you guys. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.